All right, finally heading out of Dun Cannon back on the trail. This beautiful little town. Had a free spaghetti dinner with some salad and Mountain Dew and cookies. And oh, now I am stuffed like a pig. I have 4.6 miles to do still, and it's already almost six. So definitely got to move, make some tracks. But uh, anyway, it's a beautiful little town, a little small town. Just a bunch of little houses you're walking past in the AT, old buildings. So, turn the camera around and show you a little bit. Well, this is the Appalachian Trail I'm on. There's uh, white blazes on these telephone poles. I guess this is like their downtown area, this is the next street over. There's my white blaze. Duncannon Municipal Building. A bunch of churches in here. Hikers welcome, come as you are. Pretty hiker friendly town. So I've enjoyed it here so far. Crossing this big old river here. Now I'm guessing that mountain there is the one I have to climb. I'm guessing still, not positive. Or a certain part of it. Got a thousand foot I have to climb tonight. Get to the top. Whew. Made it up here finally. Um, did a 15.2 today. I'm at 1154.6, I believe it is. 1154.6. I'm at the uh, Clark's Ferry Shelter here, all by myself. No one else is even here. So I'm camped right up here. Just gonna go down and get some water. I think I'll just wait until morning. I'm tired. My shirt is soaking wet from sweat. I was just going to get in my tent. I don't even know if Birdie's going to make it tonight up here. He made that to stay in town. We'll see how it is because that's kind of rocky coming up here. A big rock scramble. So I'm going to get my tent set up all I can before it gets dark. And we'll see if he shows up. Hopefully. Came up to this power line. You got a nice view of the town below. Town of Duncannon. So I just came from. Hiking along the day, 16.9 miles. All right, good morning. Morning of day number 98. I'm on trail already. It's 8.15. Slept in just a tiny bit this morning, but didn't go to sleep last night. I had a Mountain Dew right before I climbed the mountain. And I guess all that caffeine kept me up because I didn't go to sleep. Birdie didn't get there till almost 10 o'clock at night or so, whatever time it was. It was dark. He said when he got there, it was a little frightening because all of, all over the place, everywhere he looked, he seen eyes. He don't know what they were, just a bunch of eyes everywhere. It was kind of freaky, he said, so. But he had to hike in the dark with his flashlight last night to get there, but he did it. Made it to camp, and he's still asleep when I left this morning, so hopefully he'll get up soon. I didn't try to bother to wake him, let him sleep. So, you guys have a wonderful day, and see you out there. Some nice views up here. Even though I'm not very high up, I got a decent view, I should say. I'm only at me 1,500 foot or so. Another power line crossing. Another beautiful view. All right, this is a view from Table View Rock in Pennsylvania. On top of this big rock. A little bit of a drop off there, not too, too bad. Beautiful hawk flying around, check that out. That's majestic, check that out, that's amazing. Beautiful bird. All right, back right to my hike. All right, lunch today. I have a couple little tacos I made with some um, shredded pulled pork. And I bought some of this. 
snack cheese cheddar to put on my crackers. And that's gonna be my lunch today. I have five more miles to go. Beautiful little uh, campsite here, just taking a little break. Five more miles and I'll be at my next site. All right, hello everybody. I'm at mile marker 1170.9. 1170.9. Uh, I did a total of 16.8 miles today on this stupid ridge, walking on these stupid rocks. But this is Pennsylvania. They call it Rocksylvania because there's some of these stinking rocks. But this campsite is pretty awesome. Let me show you. Got like a little fire pit here, but it's too hot to make a fire. But somebody built these little uh, seats out of stone. So I'm sitting on a little seat with a back. My tent set up right there, a nice little pine, um, pine straw, soft area. Now I'm sitting here doing nothing. Birdie should be up here for too long. I don't know what time he left camp this morning. He was still asleep when I left, so we'll see what time he gets here. So from here on out, it's supposed to be real rocky. Uh, really rocky. I mean, like walking on rocks all day long, so... I guess we'll get to that part pretty soon. We'll see. Well, good morning. It's morning of day number 99. I'm back on trail. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, got to my site last night and ate dinner about 5, 5.30. And I just got real sleepy. I just went right in the tent and fell asleep till, till this morning. I tossed and turned a lot tonight, but still, I slept for a long time. My body was tired walking on all these rocks just wears your feet out and just wears your body out even though it's kind of up and down and semi-flat as far as the rocks go it's just it's hard walking on them and so let me show you this is kind of the truth like you're walking on this stuff and this is not the bad part this is kind of actually a good section it's not a good section to describe because this is easy here, but some of these things you're walking on, man, they just kill your feet after a while walking on them. You know, so this is not bad. This is not bad here at all, but it gets worse. And eventually when we're walking on just rocks, that's coming up soon. I'm dreading that portion. So we'll see how it goes and take it from there. So we came across this swamp. Which being from Florida, we don't mind, but we had to cross the beaver dam. He's trying to get across it back there. It's a wet, muddy area. People said they walked across it and got across fine. So I did so far. He got one shoe a little bit wet, but. Uh, this is what we're walking through nasty swamp land here. Mud and everything else. Not really been nothing to film lately, but. Came across this nice little area here. So this is a little nice change. Inside has a little bit of it. We had to cross this log here. Yeah, and this one? Yeah. And then this, you see it has a little rivet. That's going to be a good point. You can find a high point in that other rock there. Right here? Yeah. Where it's really okay. going to dig in. And then you're good. You made it! I did it! Getting ready to cross this big bridge. Alright, we finally made it to our campsite. We are at um, 1187.4, 1187.4. Did 16.4 miles. We got to the last campsite and it, it was not very smooth. It was kind of, kind of like that on an incline, plus it was rocky. And all the notes said come to this spot, so we came up here. This is a lot nicer. So, let's show you this campsite. Nice little flat spot. I got my shirt hanging up over there to dry. Already setting this tent up right now. I'm right over there. A nice little fire ring here. So, we're just going to sit here and do our afternoon schedule, which is nothing. And just let our feet rest and recover after a long day. Climb up here was horrible. It was steep, steep, steep. I don't know why they make it so steep for it, but we had to work for it. So, time to relax, eat some dinner. I'll see you while we're eating later on. 
morning it's morning of day 100 just left camp this morning slept decent last night it was supposed to rain and it did not it's probably gonna rain today so trying to get an early start well i said already it's eight o'clock almost so here i'm heading down the trail and we're gonna see what today has we're top of a ridge doing a lot of ridge running today which is not very fun all these rocks and stuff slows your pace down and hurts your feet and, but this is pennsylvania this is what they call it so anyway make the most of it today and have a good day so you folks enjoy we'll be in town tomorrow so looking forward to that be able to recharge and take a shower and more laundry and stuff need some good food again so y'all have a wonderful day i got a little bit of a view this morning views have been very very sparse a lot of climbing and uphill, downhill, nothing to see, but everyone's probably getting a little view like this. That's where we're going tomorrow. Way down there, it's the town of Hamburg. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Down there. I know they have a Walmart and a Cracker Barrel, and that's good enough for me. So anyway, I'm going to eat my lunch and we'll have a, probably a tuna pack in, some um, fruit snacks and maybe some little Debbie snacks. Let's see what else I have. Alright, so this is a lunch. This is the uh, barbecue pulled pork. Sounds delicious. Put it on a tortilla. I got some bacon cheddar combos. And this is what happens to oatmeal cream pies when they get smushed in your bag. Got a couple of those. Fruit snacks, and I got some of uh, these banana crisps, and that's my lunch. Beautiful spot to take it to.